if I am Haxtell, I do whatever it needs, like whatever needs to be done in order to get this team playing as a team again and playing for each other. And I think the joke I made was like, I don't give a shit if you like rent out a boat and take them sailing around the Puget Sound and all of them take ayahuasca and like share, you know, secrets about themselves and they all end up fucking crying and hugging by the end of it. I don't give a shit. Figure something out. Like this team needs to really needs to like get it together. And um, I hope the front office is looking at themselves just as hard as the team is because last night was incredibly disappointing. I do think, again, it's a small sample size. It's a long season. But so far, the identity of what this team is showing us is something that is incredibly disappointing. And, and I saw a, a bunch of people talking about how they were like, oh, man, this is reminding me of the first season. This is worse than the first season. It's a million times worse. And it's worse, for, it's worse because the first season was a bunch of misfits and, and, and other people that other teams left for Seattle to grab in the expansion draft. It's like a hodgepodge of players coming together. You know, you can talk about the Gru signing and all that, but it's like there were no expectations that year. We were just pumped to have Seattle crack in hockey. Well, let's fast forward now because we have Seattle crack in hockey. We went to the fucking playoffs last year. For the most part, a good amount of the core is here. I think they did a good job with the offseason acquisitions. Like we could talk about Yamamoto. He's fantastic. He's actually the only guy that I think was a highlight from last night. And, yeah. and that's why I think it's worse because it's like we have like an expectation and a standard and it, it's just not being met. It doesn't even look like it's being attempted at this time. And that's why I think it's more disappointing than season one.